have zero fans. Like, I don't have any fans. You do, you have like subscribers, it's the same shit. reading vlog. It's September 16th. I did not film a reading vlog last week and a lot of shit happened. So a lot of the stuff I talk about is stuff that happened from last week. So I have to update you guys for this week to make sense. So today I have math class from 11 to 1 and then I have a meeting with like the accessibility people of my university because I found out that I might have a learning disability for math. It's called dyscalculia which is basically the math equivalent of dyscalculia. Alexia. There's like a whole backstory to how I found out. Basically, I have special education class because I'm in university to become a teacher, so we have a class solely based off of special education. I was talking to the professor of that class and he asked me how my classes were going and I said that math really punched me in the face and that like I'm really scared for it because I just really suck at math and I like don't think I'm very good at it. I just don't understand the concepts and he was like, oh well have you ever heard of this thing called dyscalculia? And I was like, what are you talking about? There's no such thing as dyscalculia. He's been a special education teacher for like 30 plus years so like he knows what he's talking about So he was like just google it and do some research see how you feel how you relate to the signs and symptoms And I was like, okay, like can't hurt so pulled up the signs and symptoms and literally going through the list with my mom I was like me me me. And then my mom was like, honestly, I think you might have this. Like, it's worth looking into. So we went to my family practitioner and I was like, hey, I think I have this. Like, where do I go for a diagnosis? Like, how do I go about this? And she was basically like, you got to go to a educational psychologist. And I was like, okay. So we made a couple phone calls and all of these clinics say that they're not able to isolate just for math like you'd have to do all of the tests for learning disabilities and autism and Asperger's in order to get that information and I was like okay but I literally just want the math test like I really don't want to get tested for autism and Asperger's and like dyslexia like I know I have dyscalculia so I should be able to like take you know that little test that you do for math and give it to me but turns out it's hella expensive to go get diagnosed as an adult it's over three thousand dollars three thousand two hundred and forty dollars to be exact which like I don't have. Also, because it's September and the beginning of school, they prioritize children, which like obviously makes sense, that's fine. But they won't be able to get me in until November, December. My math class ends in December, so I'm like, is this really gonna help me getting diagnosed? But then, in Ontario, teachers now have to take a math test before they get their certificate for grades 3 to 11. I will 100% not pass this math test. You have to get a 70% or higher in order to get your certificate. I'm sitting here like, if I have this diagnosis, they can't necessarily not hire me for not getting a 70 on this math test because technically it's discrimination because it's a learning disability. So that's where I'm at. I'm also wanting a diagnosis just so that I don't get placed in a math classroom because for our placement for teachers college, you get placed in a classroom. So I'm hoping that with this diagnosis, I can say, like don't put me in a math class because I really don't want to mess up the children and their math skills because I literally don't have any math skills. I cannot do math to save my life. And apparently it's because of this death calculia thing. So I feel very validated by it because my whole life I've just been told that I'm like lazy and like not trying hard enough and that you know like you need to try harder and you'll understand it. And I'm like sitting here like sobbing at my kitchen table being like I cannot do this. I can do math when somebody sits there and like tells me step by step how to do it but if I go away and then come back two minutes later to like the exact same problem I won't be able to do that problem I can't do mental math to save my life I get very confused with lefts and rights directions are just a hard no for me like I do everything visually so like if you tell me to turn right at whatever street like you have to tell me like turn right at this statue or turn right at this landmark and then I can do it but names of streets left and right not a fan I can't tell time on an analog clock like I can but it takes me a very very long time to do it like I have to go like 5 10 15 20 and then I have to like backtrack at whatever like little 
time chunk it is, if that makes sense. Like I can tell the little hand, no problem. It's the big hand confuses me. I'm like, mm -mm. also still count on my fingers for like very simple math. Like if you give me nine plus eight, I have to sit there and go nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Like math is not my friend, okay? So that's where we're at on that. We're gonna go get a diagnosis, maybe hopefully someday. Um, but today I have to meet with the counselor just to like, explain what's going on and that I don't have documentation right now because I can't get in until December, but like, please help me. That's basically what we're going with. That was a really long spiel for things that you probably don't care about, but that's the update of my life. Reading wise, we are reading The Magicians by Lev Grossman. I am 225 pages in right now. I'm actually really liking it. Basically the way I describe it is like Harry Potter for adults. Honestly, that's what it is. Pretty good actually. I didn't think I was gonna like it very much. I know that is a Netflix show which I'm actually really intrigued by because it just seems like it would be a real cool thing. Like they literally turn into animals all the time. Like what? I, wh what? I want to be a fox. I'm just saying. But that's where we are with this. This is my audiobook. And then my physical book for this week, can you guess it? Because it's like the exact same thing that it's been for the past three weeks because all I've been doing is reading textbooks for school. But it's Wilder Girls. We're almost done. Apparently I'm like 60% through. So like we're not really almost done, but I'm 238 pages of like 340 or something like that. 350 something. I'm liking it a lot more than I was at the very beginning. It was very, very slow. It's like a body horror book about a boarding school where the girls get this thing called talks which basically like mutilates your body somehow and like they're trying to survive at this point they're in quarantine and then one of them goes missing and two of them have to go like find her but like I said I'm really enjoying it now was not a fan at the very beginning so I feel like it'll probably be like a 3.5 book because I just feel like it took me so long to get into I can't really give it a five even though I'm really enjoying it maybe I'll give it a four we're gonna keep reading and like see where it goes but that's where we're at. But currently 941, I have to go read my textbook. That's not fun. You guys wanna see what my textbook is? It is educational psychology. It's for my special education class. Basically the chapter we're reading right now is all about like cognitive development, how children's brains develop and blah, blah, blah. Shit that I already know from my psychology minor. That's not really a minor, but it should be a minor. That's a whole nother story. We're not gonna talk about it. That's my plan for today. And then I have work at 3.30. I probably won't be updating you again today just because like this clip is eight minutes long. So who knows what it'll be once I edit it. It's a little long for the first day. So we gotta, you know, pull it back so our vlog is not an hour long because ain't nobody got time to watch me ramble for an hour. But I'm gonna go read my textbook now. Bye! Hello! Hey. <laughs> it is Tuesday and I'm going to school. It's too early, but we're leaving late. But that's okay. I but have- your hair looks good. No, it doesn't. It's flat. Today's picture day oh. for our brought cards, so that's a fun time. I forgot my sunglasses on my bed, on my bookshelf, so. Some up there? No. If it's just for fashion, not for No, it's actually... to pull my hair back. I know, but there's some up there. That's okay. Oh, mine aren't good enough for you? No, yours are ugly. Okay. Sorry. They're old lady sunglasses. Bite me, they are not. Yes, they are. You guys want to see them? They're old lady sunglasses. They're old lady sunglasses. Whatever. You know what? I still love you. Okay, whatever. Okay. I have class from 8 to 11, and then I have a. Oh, that's a real bright sun. Yeah. Guess <laughs> what? There's sunglasses there. Or there's a visor. Oh, you can't see now. No. Nope. No. Nope. Whatever. You guys are getting bad light. I don't care. Um, so. <laughs> God dang it! Back to our regular scheduled programming now that the sun went away. I have class from 8 to 11 and then a break from 11 to 2 and then 2 to 5 is another class except in between that time. Oh my god, really son? Put you, no. The nerve of that. I know, how dare it. I just want everyone to know I'm getting kidnapped. I don't know where I'm going, but I might be dead, so you might never see this clip. Do you want to tell them where we're going? Nope. God damn it. Apparently we're going on the GO train, and that's all I know. It's also 7.30 at night, so... You have to be up early? No. Good. Good? What do you mean good? I'm scared. We're on the GO train, and Ricardo, you want to tell them your story? No. <laughs> 
So he planned to take me somewhere, and then I asked him, is anything gonna be open when we get there? Cause it's like 8.30, and uh, he realized, no, it's not gonna be open. So we're on our way to Toronto with nowhere to go. <laughs> Love that for us. Now he's looking up somewhere else to go because he did not think this through very well. He gets a burger That's coming, a but he has fries coming too. And then he's gonna order dessert. And he thinks that he's actually gonna be able to eat it all. Watch me eat it all. Okay, we'll, we'll tune back in in a couple of minutes. It's already crashing on me. We haven't even gotten our dessert yet. I've had a long day of class. What did you do? Work. Like that's hard. <laughs> What'd you get? Ferrero Rocher chocolate cookie skillet with and a shot of shot chocolate it. fondue. Shot it, go, yeah. shot it. No, that's gross. Shot it! Nope. Nope. Pussy. Gross, man. I don't want to ruin my dessert. It's literally chocolate. Shot it. Is it delicious? <laughs> what did I get? <laughs> I forget. You got the hazelnut cheesecake. Hazelnut cheesecake. I got it solely for this. I just ate mine. Oh. It's Thursday. I didn't update you guys yesterday because I literally just did schoolwork from 9 to 3 and then I worked 3.15 to 8.15 and then I just didn't film anything so sorry but today is Thursday. I have class from 8 until 10 and then I have like an online class but I actually did all the work that I was supposed to do for that class yesterday so that I would have the day off today but apparently I have to make a movie trailer for this class for this thing called the Genius Hour Project. It's basically like a project where you're supposed to allow kids to research and learn something that interests them. And so I'm going to find the best chocolate chip cookie recipe. So I have to make this movie trailer and I have no idea what to do. So that's the goal for tonight. Right now it's like 740 and I'm just like sitting on a side street waiting to go into the school because I'm like I don't want to go in 40 minutes early because it's English class and that's the class where my group is mean to me so I'm like I don't want to go there early and have to sit in silence because nobody talks to me I love that for me so I'm just sitting outside and there is a dog on the porch and I just want to go pet it it's like this huge husky Malamute looking thing and I'm just like oh my god you're precious and I want to love you but there's no human outside, it's just the dog, so I'm like, I can't go say hello, but I really want to say hello. But yeah, I'm going to go into class and um, try not to cry. Mommy's going to do an unboxing I'm doing for it now. you all. I don't want to sit up. We have two packages. I don't want to sit up. No, I'm real lazy today. They're both from Book Depository. You're going to die. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. You have to put it on your face. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Legendary by Stephanie Garber. And if you guys watched my previous reading vlog, I read Carval and died, and now I have this. And I was just, thank you. My guess is Jonathan, so thank you, Jonathan. I think it is too. Now I think thank you. About putting it into back to the library. Okay, you ready? <laughs> so now I have both of them. And we're gonna binge read them, except we don't have time to read, so we're There's probably no not going to. Wow. I guess I can update you guys on what else I'm reading. Are since... you vlogging this week? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm reading The Magician still. We got a little bit farther. We're on page 300, so... The only problem is, is that I have this on audiobook from my library and it's supposed to go back in two days and I don't really have time to read so maybe that's what I should be doing instead of lying in my bed doing nothing. Because you I'm are just lazy. lying in your bed doing nothing. Because I was going to do schoolwork and then I was like, I really don't want to do schoolwork so I'm not going to do schoolwork. So I only have like 100 pages left. Literally 100 pages. Nope. 100 and... Math is not my forte. <laughs> but we're gonna go get my nails done because they look in ratchet. Mom, are you what gonna get your nails done? No. And we have acquired new nails. Look at them! They're fall aesthetic. I am just a pumpkin spice goddess. We need to go to the pumpkin patch and 
pick apples and ride on hay bales. Are you insulting? Because a lot fall. Of Probably. You haven't taken a picture of your boots in the leaves yet. I need to wear some flannel and Put drink my PSL. And wear your 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 what? <laughs> my PSL. Pumpkin spice latte. Good job. <laughs> You're so hip <laughs> with the youngins. <laughs> well, you did call me old. <laughs> you are old. So it's now 5.30 and I spent the entire afternoon doing my Genius Hour project movie trailer so I'm just gonna insert that gem here because I want you all to see the artistic ability that I have. It's really good. Hey you! Who? Me? Yeah, you. What do you want? Are you tired of store-bought cookies? Looking for something that makes you think of home? Or maybe like the ones grandma used to make? Yeah, I guess. Well, have no fear. You've come to the right place. We're on the quest for the best chocolate chip cookie. One chip at a time. Happy Friday! I finished a book! I'm kind of proud of myself because it's been quite a while since I finished, but I finished The Magicians by Lev Grossman this morning because I refused to do anything until I finished this book because it has to go back to the library. I'm giving it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I really did enjoy it. It was really entertaining, but by the last like 100 pages, it just kind of like dragged on for me and I was like, okay, this book needs to end. It's gone on too long. It's only 403 pages, but it got to the point where I was just like, okay, end now. I feel like it could have been less pages and still gotten the same like enjoyment factor out of it. And then I started Permanent Record by Mary H.K. Choi and I'm only like 10 pages in because then I got distracted and put it down. It's this like young adult romance novel about these two teenagers. I think they're teenagers. They might be like 20 but they're young. And one, the girl, is a pop idol icon, whatever you want to call her. The guy is a college dropout. They end up meeting one day and then they start this romance. They're both trying to like find each other and where they belong in the world and it's supposed to be like super cute and like eye-opening and blah blah blah. I'm excited. I think it's gonna be a nice break from the fantasy that I just read, The Magicians. So I've basically spent the entire morning after I finished The Magicians doing my math homework. So I finished three chapters of math readings and I refuse to do any more even though I have a math assignment that I'm supposed to finish but I don't want to do it so I'm not going to do it which really means I'll probably end up doing it because knowing me I'll say I'm not going to do it and then I'll start thinking about how I'm not doing it and how I should be doing it and then I'll do it which is really annoying because I just want to do nothing today. I also have readings for two of my other classes and another assignment that I should do but I've already done a lot today so we're just we're gonna chill for like an hour because me and my mom are going to go to Costco, so the next clip is going to be quality car content. I should also bake my cookies today, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. Clearly, I'm just very indecisive today. I don't know what I want to do, but next clip, quality car content. Here you go. Hello! In the car again. I promised them quality car content, so please provide. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I should, saying as you totally insulted me for the last two days. There is no evidence of this happening, so you're a liar. We're going to Costco to get cheese. Cheese. Because we're little mice in this you're house. You're a little mouse. Yes. There's really fancy cheese, and it tastes delicious, and I have it with um, crackers and, and, and what's prosci br br not bruschetta. What is it called? Prosciutto. Prosciutto. It's so good. You gotta learn this stuff. I know, I should know this. I'm dating an Italian. He's not Italian, he's Canadian. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't watch this. Hi, so last night was just like a shit show because one, I have a cold and I couldn't fall asleep because like I just had to keep blowing my nose. Do you understand how privileged you are if you can breathe out of both your nostrils at one time? I see the light. I wish I still could. Second, I found out what my placement was for teacher's college and like where I'm going to be teaching. I got the worst possible situation for me personally. I'm in a grade 8 math class. Me, the girl who has dyscalculia and can't do grade 
for math has to teach a grade 8 math class so I've just been like panicking and freaking out about that like all night so sleep was not a thing I have work now at 8 45 I'm like sitting outside of it because I don't want to go in yet because I'm early till 12 45 and then I have basketball tryouts I'm not coaching U19 anymore I'm teaching U16 girls I mean it'll be fun still but we didn't have enough girls for a U19 team so now we're doing U16 which is whatever so yeah I've been in my feels since I found out I'm gonna try talking to my placement advisor and be like listen like I'm getting diagnosed please don't make me do this like it's not good for me or the children especially the children because they're not gonna learn anything because you either have to teach a math class or a literacy class for your first block of teaching so I'm gonna like beg them basically to let me teach literacy but the teacher that I got placed with is a math and science teacher so like obviously I'm gonna be teaching math so the only bad thing is is that the email says no switches will be made unless there's like extenuating circumstances I personally think this is an extenuating circumstance because like it's a disability it's not like I'm just like I don't want to do math so like don't make me do it so we'll see what they say that's not till Tuesday so I'm gonna be stressing until Tuesday but I need to go into work now and stress some more <laughs> it's now Sunday I've gotten progressively sicker as yesterday went on and today I feel like I'm dying I had work at 8 o'clock till 12.45, but now I don't have any plans for the day other than feeling like death and feeling sorry for myself because like I don't get sick. I never get sick. So when I do get sick, I'm like a little baby. I'm like a man when they get sick. You know how they get? You know what I'm talking about. I'm sure I just offended so many people, but you all know what I'm talking about. And I guess I can update you on my reading. Permanent record. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to show you this without like covering my entire face, but we are now on page 250 of permanent record. So we are halfway through and I'm actually liking it a lot more than I thought I would. I'm listening to it on audiobook, but the one thing like complaint that I have is that the guy who's narrating it, every female who's talking, he makes them have this like super high nasally voice and it's just annoying. So that's definitely like bringing the enjoyment down, but the overall story is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying like the banter between the guy and the girl. Lee is the girl. The guy's name is Pablo, but they call him Pabs. So I'm enjoying that. I think they're funny together, but the guy's narration is just driving me insane. I'm gonna go shower now. I should do homework, but I feel like poo, so I'm not gonna do that. But I'm gonna end the vlog now so that I can edit it. So I guess that's what I'm gonna go do. Go edit this vlog so that I can be up for you guys on Monday. Hopefully by tomorrow I feel better. With my luck, I'm gonna be sick for the next like a thousand years. So thank you for joining me for this week's reading vlog. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have one next week only because I'm lazy. And if I'm sick, I'm not going to want to edit shit all. So maybe see you next week, maybe not. But I'll see you in next video. Goodbye. Yeah.